How about the myth of Java Man? Java Man was another one of the first alleged ape men ever found and thereby used by evolutionists. He was found on the island of what, ladies? It's a guy thing, I'm telling you. What, what are you going to name it? Anyway, and, and was reported to be yet another missing link between man and ape. He was discovered by this guy, Dutchman Eugene Dubois, in 1891. And all that was found, this is it, all he found, was a skull cap, three teeth, and a femur. Okay, that was it. In fact, the femur was found 50 feet away from the original skull cap a full year later. How fast was that car going when he got smacked? <laughs> Give me a break. But this is the tip of the iceberg. After serious study, folks, it was discovered that two other pieces of Java Man, the other two, were from two different skulls from two different areas in the island. Okay, he got hit by a Mack truck, apparently. And then later on, after closer study, Eugene Dubois, towards his death, he had a second thought about it, who, who made the original discovery, rejected their authenticity, and he admitted that his fossil findings were the mixing together of human skull remnants and that of a femoral bone of a giant gibbon had nothing to do with humans at all.